Brouwer's main theorems are three theorems in representation theory of finite groups linking the blocks of a finite group in characteristic P with those of its P-local subgroups, that is to say, the normalizers of its non-trivial P subgroups. The second and third main theorems allow refinements of orthogonality relations for ordinary characters which may be applied in finite group theory. These do not presently admit a proof purely in terms of ordinary characters. All three main theorems are stated in terms of the Brouwer correspondence. <laughs> Brouwer correspondence There are many ways to extend the definition which follows, but this is close to the early treatments by Brouwer. Let G be a finite group, P be a prime, F be a field of characteristic P. Let H be a subgroup of G which contains Q C G Q. Display style Q C underscore G Q for some P subgroup Q of G and is contained in the normalizer N G. Q display style n underscore g q where c g q display style c underscore g q is the centralizer of q in g. The Brouwer homomorphism with respect to H is a linear map from the center of the group algebra of G over F to the corresponding algebra for H. Specifically, it is the restriction to Z F G display style Z F G of the linear projection from F G display style F G to F C G Q display style F C underscore G Q whose Kernel is spanned by the elements of G outside C G Q. Display style C underscore G Q. The image of this map is contained in Z F H. Display style Z F H. And it transpires that the map is also a ring homomorphism. Since it is a ring homomorphism, for any block B of F G, the Brouwer homomorphism sends the identity element of B either to zero or to an idempotent element. In the latter case, the idempotent may be decomposed as a sum of mutually orthogonal primitive idempotents of Z F H. Each of these primitive idempotents is the multiplicative identity of some block of F H. The block B of F H is said to be a Brouwer correspondent of B if its identity element occurs in this decomposition of the image of the identity of B under the Brouwer homomorphism. <laughs> Brouwer's first main theorem Brouwer's first main theorem, Brouwer 1944, 1956, 1970, states that if G display style G is a finite group A, D display style D is a P display style P subgroup of G display style G then there is a bijection between the set of characteristic p blocks of g display style g with defect group d display style d and blocks of the normalizer n g d display style n underscore g d Defect group D. This bijection arises because when H equals N G D display style H equals N underscore G D, each block of G 
with defect group D has a unique Brouwer correspondent block of H, which also has defect group D. Topic: <laughs> Brouwer's second main theorem. Brouwer's second main theorem, Brouwer 1944, 1959, gives for an element T whose order is a power of a prime p, a criterion for a characteristic p block of C G T. Display style C underscore G T to correspond to a given block of G. Display style G via generalized decomposition numbers. These are the coefficients which occur when the restrictions of ordinary characters of g g from the given block to elements of the form 2, where u ranges over elements of order prime to p in c g t are written as linear combinations of the irreducible Brouwer characters of C G T display style C underscore G T. The content of the theorem is that it is only necessary to use Brouwer characters from blocks of C G T display style C underscore G T which are Brouwer correspondence of the chosen block of G. Topic: <inaudible> Brouwer's third main theorem. Brouwer's third main theorem, Brouwer 1964, theorem 3, states that when Q is a p subgroup of the finite group G and H is a subgroup of G containing Q C G Q display style Q C underscore G Q and contained in N G Q display style N underscore G Q. Then the principal block of H is the only Brouwer correspondent of the principal block of G, where the blocks referred to are calculated in characteristic P. 